Hi, my name is Nari Pratt, and my report is on the Steam Muscle Project. Incident report. February 14, 2020, here at Valero, there was a scaffold tool building a scaffold on top of the thin fan deck next to the steam muscle. The muscle was approximately 100 feet away from the employee while they were working. One scaffold worker was passing with material while the others were working. While they were passing material, the steam muscle burst and ejected hot water on top of the workers, scalding them and making them get rushed for medical attention. Causes. It was later discovered through the investigation that the steam muscle was backed up with debris. From the debris clogging up the steam muscle, the muscle began to build up water in the line. When the muscle burst and ejected water out of the steam, that normally would. The unfortunate results that the water fell on the workers and building them up. Concerns. Our concerns always are mainly to make sure that the workers are safe in every refinery. There are over 100 steam musclers throughout the refinery. It will take time to clean up, clean all of the musclers. So we, we make up a system to where we can clean them through stages. Recommendation throughout the remainder of the investigation, there should be a plan to prevent this from happening. So the operators are starting a new job to help prevent this from happening again. Since the incident has taken place, we are here at Valero starting a new system called the Steam Muffler. During the project, we will be taking place to head on with the muscular. We are we will be breaking down and cleaning them more often. We often clean them every 10 years, but since we came up with this system, we will be cleaning them every three years. The steam muscle project sh should help safety and prevent this from happening again. On task. The first task is to shut down the unit and the mufflers to clean them from the buildup that they have built within the 10 years. The second thing, we are asking the operators and the contractors to come together and look, and look in the surroundings of making sure that everything is clean properly and filling out the issues. The chart that I made is basically to show when an incident occurred and what day that it happened. Um, the, good, the, the steam of the project is still ongoing and is an investigative um, project. We are working together to make sure that this doesn't happen again. A major steam muffler has cleaned out and unplugged. We are also in a place to design a new system that to prevent the water from falling on others. We have made a runoff line valve to help the water exit from the muffler. New policies. Since the incident that happened at Valero, we also came up to make sure that everyone is wearing proper PPE and the right materials so that this can prevent them from getting burned. This, are, this is many of different ways to help prevent this from happening. We came up with a better way to make sure that everyone is wearing the proper boots, um, the proper FRT, and making sure that they're wearing goggles. We also came up a way to make sure that they are they are always looking in the areas to make sure that there is no other buildup or trash around the area. The scaffold workers are now in a better position to where they are able to work again. We are looking forward in our new project to make sure that everybody is in a safe way of working. This refinery will keep up with our new operation to make sure that things are running properly. Operators are mainly mainly focusing on the areas 
of the new mufflers and new system that we are running. It will help guide and help others from this incident from happening again.